In this video, I have 21 ways to make money with a camera, and it can be as simple as the thing that is in your pocket. And these will get you to make around $2,000 a month. Now, it's not no skill, it's not the easiest way, AI isn't gonna do it for you. This is gonna take work. So, if you don't like that, go watch Joshua Mayo. Love you, Joshua Mayo. Number one is graduation photos. Now, there's a certain time of year where people are graduating high school and college, and they want this time to be commemorated with a photo shoot. Now, these photo shoots can range anywhere between $100 to $400 per session, and you can book them in bulk. Now, once you book one, word of mouth. They know a bunch of other people in their class that are gonna be able to book them as well. So let's say you do $200 sessions because mm, you're not super experienced yet, and you want it to book them easily, but you get 10 sessions, that's $2,000. Take that upwards, $400 a session, that's $4,000, or double the amount of clients you book, and now you just made $4,000 with $200 one-hour photo shoots. Now, number two, family photos. Now, I would specifically be targeting higher-income neighborhoods, people that have the luxury to spend on commemorating their family photos, especially around Christmas time when people send out Christmas cards. They are going to want pictures of their family and you can charge between $500 to $800 um, and if you book two of these a month at $500 it's a thousand dollars a month very reasonable and this would probably be an hour to three hour photo shoot now here's the sales pitch you're going to want to remember these photos and see your family all together as you grow up your kid will never be four again oh next year your kid will never be five again next year oh your kid will never be six again number three this is one I did personally as well. Church ministry videos. You can go in and you can charge on the lower end. It's gonna be about $250 per ministry. Now, churches have these things called ministries, which is, you know, they'll have a women's ministry, the men's ministry, the coffee cart ministry, the cafe ministry, and you'll charge to make little promo videos for each of these. Why do they want promo videos? Well, because they need volunteers to run these ministries. And if without volunteers, they don't have ministries, without ministries, they don't really got a church. So you're gonna create these promotional videos for the church for $250 a piece. Maybe you do all 10 ministries as a package and you get a total of $2,000. The next one is event highlight videos. Now, I've done this one and I've been able to charge early on about $500 and later on closer to $1,000 to $1,500. And the only difference wasn't my skill that got better, it was the fact that my pitch got better. When I first did it for $500, I said, hey, uh, I can do this video shoot for you for $500 um, and you'll be able to have a cool little promo video. The other times I went around when I got more experience was the pitch turns into, hey, I'm gonna make an amazing highlight video of your event. We're gonna shoot some talking head footage of you promoting the event so that next year you have an amazing highlight video from the previous year with you promoting the one coming up. So not only did you create a highlight video for the company, for the brand that is throwing this event, but you also created a sales video that they can use for the next year, which allows you to charge significantly more money. Number five is ShareGrid. Now, ShareGrid is a place where you can get jobs as a freelancer, but you can also rent out your equipment. A lot of uh, freelancers have additional equipment that they're not using, microphones, cameras, lenses. Now, if you have an extra camera body laying around, you can rent it out for about $60 a day, depending on what the camera is. Now, if you can rent out, let's say there's 12 days in the month that you're definitely not using your camera at $60 a day, that is an additional $720. Now, you can just subtract some insurance from that and you're good, you're probably coming out above $500, $600. Number six is second shooter at a wedding. Now, all you have to do is slowly create your community of videographers that are a little bit ahead of you, and I can guarantee you 100% they are doing weddings. Almost every videographer is doing weddings at some point, even if it's not their main, their main source of income. But you're gonna offer your services. Hey, if you ever need help shooting a wedding, a second camera, I can do photo and video, um, and just whatever you can pay me is good. $300, $500, $800. It depends on their packages. I guarantee you they love the security of the added shooter, and you can go along. But not only can you go along, eventually you can use the final video also in your reel so you can book your own 
weddings. So that's that's a gift that keeps on giving. And you can do that for anywhere between $500 to $800 per day, per wedding. Number seven, live stream a wedding. Now, because of COVID, live streaming has become a huge huge thing that people love. And a lot of times, you know, finances are tight. Even with all the restrictions completely gone at this point, people can't afford to fly into certain weddings. And there's certain people that drop tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars on a wedding, and they will happily pay $1,500, $2,000 just to get it live streamed. The ceremony and the, uh, the speeches at the reception. So if you do those two things, you know, you got to figure out some of the logistics, but you can easily lock in $1,500. If they don't already have a videographer, you just add on the extra packages or you refer somebody and get an affiliate a couple extra hundred bucks there. Number eight is live stream small business events or retreats. Now, a lot of online businesses nowadays, once a year, multiple times a year, maybe once a quarter even, they'll throw retreats where they'll meet up at one beautiful location. Um, I have a client that does it in Temecula where all, all the vineyards are and they will have a bunch of their students, a bunch of their clients come and uh, do an in-person coaching experience, but they also have clients and students that are not in person and need the event streamed to Zoom or wherever it may be. So you can set up your camera and charge about $800 per day to stream video. I've done this personally, and you literally just set up the camera, throw in your cam link, your HDMI cable, and you can record. Now you can lock in even more money if you uh, throw in a package. Like I would throw in testimonials. These are all clients that they finally have in one place. In, in the breaks, I would go record testimonials and you can make an extra $1,000 just when you're already there. So you can make an easy $3,000 from a package like this. I, I've done a package like this for two days that was a $5,000 package. Number nine is something that's kind of a wild card, and it's pet photography. A lot of people look at their pets as their children, which is a whole nother problem we're facing nowadays, but they want pictures of their pets. Now, you can probably get away with about $400 a photo shoot, that's a reasonable amount before uh, the pet owner's spouse says, absolutely not. Um, so you you get to commemorate this person's pet. Now, you, it takes it takes a skill set, right? You gotta be able to interact with animals, you gotta be able to get their attention, and you gotta be able to do sales to get people to do pet photography for $400. But I know somebody personally that has done that, that type of business. Now, number 10 is in the same lane as the online businesses, record e-course trainings for online business owners. Now you can throw together an easy package that's about $2,000 for 10 trainings. Here's why. These trainings will live on and the quality of these trainings will dictate whether they have to go back and reshoot them or not. And that is directly generating them revenue, right? The depend If they're really good, that's gonna keep their clients happy that go through the e internet courses and then at the end, the clients will probably re-up or give a really good testimonial and it's gonna be continuing to make the business owner money. So you'll be able to charge a higher price. You know, you, you would package it in the way of what does your client satisfaction mean to you on a scale of one to 10? They'll say, uh, I mean, it's probably about a 10. Yeah, 10, right? Because the more satisfied they are, the more likely they are to recommend you and come back and spend more money with you. Now, I, I'm just here to make your client satisfaction as high as possible while making really good, high quality videos that are easy to understand, well edited, and have great audio so people know exactly what you are teaching. That's the pitch. That's That'll give you an easy $2,000 for, for 10 video trainings. And here's the trick. It's not too difficult. You can set up one camera, you can have two cameras going into a video switcher, do live cutting, and then just button it up in the edit, and it doesn't have to be too difficult. Now, number 11 is record employee training videos for small businesses. Now, when small businesses hire on new employees, there is probably a 90-day training period where they then, after 90 days, get to be able to move on their own and actually be effective for the company. Now, the whole goal of a business is to make that window as short as possible and to automate that part of the business. So this is where you come in. You come in with a camera and you say, hey, what, what's the things that you are repeating over and over and over again to your new hires? Let's record those into a basics training where maybe there's 10 training videos in there 
And every time you get a new hire, they're required to go through that before they even come in on their first day. You can charge anywhere between $1,000 and $10,000. Now, the reason there is such a big difference is because it really depends on the size of the company, right? If, if it's a small company under four employees, then it's probably going to be 1000 It's not going to be a big need because they don't hire as much. But if you go higher to the higher end, 25 employees, and they have a higher turn rate where more employees are leaving and they're always hiring new employees, you're going to be saving them a lot, a lot of time and in turn money, which is why it's worth $10,000. Number 12 is shoot content videos for online brands. It can be coaches, consultants, or basic brands. This goes back to the Gary Vee model. Jab, 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 right hook. Now, if you're not familiar, that's value, value, value. Then you can go in for the sales pitch. Now, all these business owners know they need to give value, and that's where you come in. You go, hey, if you're not giving value to your audience, they're not gonna care about who you are. So all these business owners, kind of regardless of the industry, are always trying to be an expert um, and give information that uh, informs their audience and creates something interesting. And this is where you come in. You're like, hey, if you're not giving value, uh, you're not building rapport with your audience and they're just gonna buy less product. So you come in and every month even, you can do multiple videos. Um, I would say it's about 10 videos and photos and you can do that for a $3,000 package. I have done that one personally. Number 13, take product shots for your favorite local brands. Now this kind of throws me back to the guys on YouTube that go door to door doing window sales where they scrub the windows and they keep knocking off all the prices uh, for the windows and say, hey, just because we're here, we might as well do it. I can do it for you for $200. In the same lane, that's why I'm gonna go lower with this price, about $500 you could do this where you go to your favorite local brands, you say, hey, let me shoot some stuff. If you really like it, um, then you you can pay for it, but you don't have to pay for it until you really like it. Now, if they do really like it, you're probably not gonna get 100% close rate, but if they do really like it, then you made 500 bucks and possibly a reoccurring customer. Now, number 14 is possibly the most creative way I've personally seen in real life, which is take photos of surfers in the water upload it to a website and have them buy the pics for $20. I have personally seen this. This would, re this would require an underwater housing. Now the, with GoPros on the rise, you know, and, and them just getting better and better. This, the need for this might differ, but if you are a really good photographer, nothing beats really, really good photography. And I've personally seen this. I was surfing and there was a guy in the water with his water housing and he was going to take photos and I was like, what is he doing? And he's taking photos of me, da, 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 da. I'm swimming back out after I took a wave all the way to the shore because I was a newbie. You're not supposed to do that. And he swims up to me and hands me a card in a plastic covering and says, hey, I took a photo of you. Just scan the QR code on there when you're done and you can go buy that pic. That was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. So sure enough, went home, scanned the thing, and his website is there with a bunch of uploads of a bunch of different surfers, and uh, you can scroll through and then you find yourself and then you can buy your pick for $20. Now I did some quick math on that. If you sell each pick for $20, let's say you get two sales for 25 days in the month, that's $1,000, right? So if you're out every morning, Monday through Friday, and then two surfers each day buy a photo for $20, you're making an extra $1,000. This is if you like surfing, you like being in the ocean, and you're on a coast. Number 15, goes back to one earlier, shoot wedding videos and photos. Now you're gonna leverage being a second shooter on the previous wedding you did for $500 to $800 a day. You're gonna use that to pitch your own package, say this is my work, you can show your work with permission from the previous videographer, of course, and you can lock in packages for upwards of five thousand lots of pressure make sure you're very prepared make sure you have multiple camera angles of the ceremony you don't miss a thing but this one is absolutely amazing now i'm gonna throw in a bonus right there 15 and a half is every year don't delete the drive go back see what photos you have that you haven't given the cover the couple previously 
and say, hey, I have some extra photos of your grandparents, of, of extended family that didn't make the final cut. Do you want these extra photos that, that didn't make the final cut? Uh, I can sell them to you for 500 bucks. And oftentimes, maybe a grandparent has passed away, uh, something has changed in the family dynamic where, yes, we would love every single photo we can get, here's $500, and you give them an additional 50 photos. That's 15 and a half. Number 16 is shoot short form videos for YouTube creators. Now, YouTube creators already have uh, money coming in through AdSense, so you know they're making money, whereas other platforms, TikTok, Instagram, they're not necessarily making money just because they're an influencer. But YouTube creators want to spread as as much as possible across all the platforms. If you can come in or even just edit videos and do about 20 per month for $1,500, I have I know multiple people doing this every month. It's one of the greatest opportunities right now. Number 17 is by far probably the hardest. Start a YouTube channel where you can pay get paid $6 per 1,000 views. By far the hardest. Being a YouTuber is one of the most desired careers among Gen Z, and this has got to be one of the most difficult, but theoretically, if you have a camera and all the other variables that go along with it, you can make money. Now, the, the, the most common cost per 1,000 views I've seen is $6, but in the side hustle community, finance, business, whatever it is, it can get upwards of $20 to $40 per 1,000 views, mind-blowing amounts. I personally was just recently monetized and I'm at about $89 for the past 28 days. It hasn't been a full 28 days of me being monetized, so we'll see how it grows. But I know channels that are doing anywhere between ten dollars and $30,000 a month with YouTube AdSense. So there's a huge upside if you can stick through it, learn the craft, and get rolling. Number 18, shoot funeral remembrance videos. I have done this one twice. How? Don't really know. You know, if you have a larger community, maybe you go to church and you know people that have older family members and people are going to pass away and just simply is. With you having your name out there and being and shooting videos, the same way people want a wedding filmed, they're going to want a funeral filmed. And it's because they want you to capture the essence of the day, capture the speeches, um, and capture all the family being together. And that's the key thing. You're going to pitch, hey, like, you know, this is a hard time, but it's not very often in life that your entire family is in one room. And I want to film that for you. Christian Anime Podcast has finally an ethical way to monetize death, shooting funeral photos. You know, you definitely got to be asked to do this. It's not necessarily something you pitch. Number 19, sell photo prints on Etsy. It's good to know there are lots of photographers making a full-time living with this, which is absolutely phenomenal. The caveat comes, you can't be too artsy. You wanna go to bigger cities, um, very memorable areas where you can take photos and you can um, promote them just based off the photo, right? San Francisco, pictures of signs that people want, picture, pictures of the city sign, things that are very memorable, the Golden Gate Bridge, just iconic pictures, things that are more simple, a VW bug against the ocean, um, something in the mountains. You want to have a really classy subject, some lots of color. So it's going to be less artistic, more speaking to the person's desires. And to be fair, that's what marketing is, right? Most clothing companies that have a black shirt with white text on it, that is something catchy, sell a lot more than a, a clothing company that did cut and sew and just has a basic color, but no logo on it. Number 20 is shoot customer walkthrough videos. So all these businesses that maybe have systems in place for their customers, very similar to the previous one about hiring, um, about training videos for new hires, this is about new customers, new clients that, ne that need to be um, initiated, that need to be initiated into the system of the business. So this can be as simple as welcome videos that they get immediately upon purchase, uh, next step videos, very uh, funnel-based, systems-based. And again, the pitch for this would be, hey boss, what are you repeating to every single customer that comes in the door that you're super tired of? Let's take video of that, let's package it, make it feel personal, and then automate that. And the, that's the key word, automation. And for that, I mean, you can charge anywhere between 500 to $2,000 but depending on the package that you lock in with this person. Last but not least, number 21, 
shoot photo and video packages for brands reoccurring every month. There are lots of companies that have enough work where they need to have a videographer on hand, but they don't want the added expense of an actual employee. So you can easily come in and shoot their podcasts, shoot their uh, product photography. This is, if you can be a jack of all trades with a camera, this is for you. And the simple pitch here is, hey, look, all these assets are fleeting. You post them once on social media and they're gone. You're going to need me to come in here and make these assets every single month for you. And you can charge about $2,000. You're going to want to give a package deal for uh, them committing to multiple months. So you might do a three-month or six-month contract um, or even month-to-month, -month, but you're going to still say, hey, and because you're doing this every month, it's, it's, it's typically $3,000. It's going to be $2,000 for you. Now, if you want to know the secret to locking in clients for $2,000 per month, watch this video that's on the screen here. Now, if you want additional help, you can always sign up for my Patreon. It's going to be one-on-one -on -one coaching with me through Voxer, a voice messaging app where you can have access to me daily and I can help accelerate you through your problems so that you can get making money with your video editing or photography or video shooting as fast as possible. If not, it's totally cool. I'm going to be giving as much as my knowledge as I possibly can on this YouTube channel for free. But if you want to pay a little bit extra every month, you can get tailored coaching and advice from me. And you can get that in the link or in the pinned comment below.